Here we go. Back at it. <laughs> Let me open up. The... Oh, it smells good. <laughs> what is that? Peppermint. Peppermint. Nice. It's very uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> open it up here literally just finished dinner like one minute ago I made chicken salad oh yeah she makes the best chicken salads because it's spicy <laughs> what are you laughing at my hair oh your hair <laughs> yeah, it looks good it looks yeah. good oh. My dad's here. Welcome, you guys. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section where you're watching this from, and uh, even uh, where you're from, if you happen to live somewhere where you're actually not from. Good morning, Dwayne. Good to see you here. I feel like it's a, yeah. This is a weird angle. Okay, it wasn't a good idea to like take your hair out of a ponytail middle of life. Yeah, if I do that, you live and learn. You live and learn, right? <laughs> if I do that, it's gonna be. Let me move this a little bit. There we go. Isn't that nicer? A little bit closer here. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. <laughs> nice yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Should I do it too? Nah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> then I'll just sit here and fix my hair for like. Like five me. minutes of this. <laughs> oh mm. man, it's good to be with you guys again. Mm. So good. We're just gonna take a few minutes here to let everybody get on and all those things, and um, and let, let us know where you guys are watching from, mm. as usual. And uh, yeah, as usual, we heard to talk about God, Jesus, relationships, love, married life. Mm. Yeah, it looks good down, doesn't it? See? Thanks. That looks great. Do you think it looks good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's better. First oh. it was a little bit crazy. Well, I like it crazy. I don't know. <clears throat> well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because mm. we talk about love and relationships. Mm. All sorts of stuff. Last week we also talked about um, visions mm. and spiritual gifts, things like that. Had a good time. So we might touch on some of those things today too, but as mm. usual, it's always, uh, we love to hear your questions, what you are, what's on your heart, what you guys are thinking about, um, any, anything regarding uh, married life. We're coming up on, oh, let's see here, November 23rd. So we have been married eight months. Mm. December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah. Mm. Months. Be nine months in August. Hmm. How does it feel? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, feel oh, yeah. Bit different. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. Better and better. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm. It feels better and better. Um, oh, you live in Arkansas. Soon to be Missouri. Okay, moving. Moving to Missouri. Cool. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Be living in the uh, same state as uh, Pastor Bob. Yeah. Missouri, Tennessee. Isn't it? Or am I mistaken? Oh, no. Siri again. Siri, go away. Every time we do these lives. Say that. Don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do these lives, she starts talking. Maybe I should disable. Hmm. Um, so you said it's better and better. In what way? Is it better and better to be married? Um, well, when we just got married, I thought like that I didn't think it, that it sucked or anything. It was <laughs> awesome, but it's just like, it's like just better. Like you find yourself thinking, oh, I didn't think it could, it could get better, but it just does get better. Mm. Yeah. And I, I would say like, I enjoy my life more and more every year. Like I think back, oh, I love to be an adult. I'm glad I'm not a teenager anymore. But right. I didn't think when I was a teenager, oh, I wish I wasn't a teenager. Uh, my life is not, uh, it was good to be a teenager when you were a teenager, but now it's good. I guess it's the same 
with their relationship. I don't know, uh, what, what do you guys think about marriage? Yeah. Does it get better and or worse? I believe it gets better. Yeah, I guess it, it could go either way, of mm. course, depending on what you sow into it. As mm. we sow, we shall reap. <laughs> and I know there can be, of course, many different circumstances out there. I'm no way uh, telling, like, putting any, anybody down or anything. What's up, Chris? Chris Dorman. Good to see you here. And Ilmar. Good to see you here. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. You guys are such a sweet couple. Mm. Um, our friends here, Ilmar and uh, his beautiful wife, Sonia, live in Norway. Uh, even though they are not from there. But, mm. yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, but what is it ex specifically that keeps getting better and better? Connection, I would say. Connection. Yeah, I remember, like, when we were just dating yeah. and later engaged and um, newly married, which we still are, but even newly are married. Um, yeah. I found often myself feeling disconnected with you. Like anyone when we were newly married. Yeah, that's true. Like, I, it took more effort to connect emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. Like in what way? Was it like... How would you describe what, connecting? Yeah, I, I would just wanted to ask you mm. first, like, what was it that was harder to connect? Was it harder to want to connect or like to actually feel connected when we like um. actually were? <clears throat> Well, um, maybe understanding your thoughts or, or know that I'm loved. Is that what you're thinking? No, I'm, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> okay, where I, I'm... It's ah. <laughs> 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 so hard to put into words. I don't know. You've never I'm, I'm, uh, No, I've never thought about it. Right. Yeah. I just use the word connection. What, how would you describe... How would you dis describe uh, connection? Emotional connection? Me? Yeah, how would you... Oh, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, there are some things. I think I know what you mean, but I, of course, don't know everything. Hey, what's up, Lindsay? And what's up, Kyle Christian? That's a good name. Mm. Is that like a last name, Christian? Because in that case, I could have been Christian Christian. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, I think I know. But I, I wanted to ask because, mm. um, of course, I don't know everything. And not everything mm. we felt like we always learn new things, right? Um, even if you feel like mm. we know each other well. Like, just think about how much better we know each other in 10 years or 25 years. Mm. So, I think... It isn't the point though, like connection doesn't just like happen. It's like you get no. married and then boom, you're just connected. Mm. Uh, even though you are one flesh, if you consume it, your marriage, which mm. you should. Mm. <laughs> I hope everybody does. Okay, that's so good. That's cool. Uh, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. We appreciate you doing that. It's always good to see you guys. Mm. Hi and bye. Hi and bye. <laughs> you can catch it later. Mm. It'll be on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It, it, I guess... Oh, uh, well, what's up, Scott? Man, all these fabulous people joining. <laughs> it's an awesome. Um, it doesn't just happen, connection. Like, you just don't... You don't, like, get married and then, boom, you are, like... You have arrived. Um, Kyle is saying here, emotional connection is when your heartstrings give each other a big hug. Your heart's mm, hug. That's nice. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Is that how it feels when you feel connected? How does it feel when you feel really connected to me? I feel secure. I feel oh. sure about you. I feel I'm on a good mood because I'm, I'm kind of... Mm, I feel seen by you. I mm. feel heard. And that's when I'm hurt. Heard. <laughs> okay, <guys. G. laughs> Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> and um, I, I um, good, good example is like when we were very connected. I think I've told this story before. We, when we were picking, a, choosing a movie in the evening. This is the third time we talk about this. Do you, do you Seriously, really? I need to get new stories. <laughs> we need to get new stories. <laughs> okay. That's no, but that's, it's true. No, but it's. Uh, it's like no matter what we're choosing or we're talking, at the grocery store figuring yeah, out what to eat what to eat picking a restaurant if we're connected it's so easy yeah. if we're not it's just impossible and yeah. yeah i don't know yeah exactly exactly yeah okay so oh, what's I, up roger hmm. good morning good morning for us it's evening of course hmm. dinner time or hmm. post dinner time for us. i wish it was morning though why you like mornings? Yeah. You'll have one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um you feel when you feel connected, you feel secure, you feel heard by me. And by the way, if you have, have anything that comes to mind that you want to ask about this particular topic or any other topic as mm. we're talking, then please just write it in the comment section and uh we'll happy to talk about it. Um yeah and um what what do you feel like when you don't feel connected when you feel disconnected with me what does that feel like well i personally feel a little bit lonely or like irritated like what is he thinking yeah yeah he's 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 so so noisy on a purpose <laughs> <laughs> Things think that really do not bother me when we're connected and I think that would like be so good to realize for so many couples because I know in this world so many couples are fighting over little things I just know that yeah. because I know other people <laughs> and you've uh, seen them fighting yeah and I know I, I think if more people realize to maintain the good connection between each others the the little fights would decrease right yeah. absolutely yeah i mean i think the majority of mm. if not all of our fights arguments mm. uh comes from a place of disconnection and like it comes from that like it's actually it's not what we're fighting about is not the issue it's like um, has nothing to do with it. Like where some, if someone puts the water glass in the wrong place or whatever, that has nothing to do with it. It just has to do with not feeling like either seen, like appreciated, um, connected, like, um, but it, it, it can feel like sort of like, a what, what would you call it? Like, a um, manifestation of that. Mm. Like, I feel like, oh, she just doesn't care about me for that, but it's... Yeah, or yeah. like a good example is, I don't know if anybody else can rela relate to this, but you walk to a friend group or a group of people and you don't feel seen or really cared about your talk, but nobody listens. It's like hurts you. And that's a little bit similar feeling you can have when you are like disconnected. Exactly. Yeah, you can be around tons it's of people a, and feeling alone. Yeah, Is that what you mean? yeah, you can feel alone with a spouse too. And yeah. if you sometimes feel that it's not dangerous, but it's something to like, oh, 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 this is a red flag. Uh, we need to work here because it doesn't get. If you don't work on with that, it doesn't get better automatically. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to have actually notice like we have to plan for connection mm -hmm. like. Uh, like today, kind of a bunch of stuff going on, and you were saying to okay, I really want to connect with you uh, later. Like just mm -hmm. have some time. Um, we're actually gonna travel right after this, but just to spend some time mm -hmm. with the two of us and, and talk. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, connection can be many different things. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do. You can be with around a ton of people, and you can feel disconnected. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the actual thing that makes you connected. Like. Sex doesn't have to be a connecting. Like a marriage is a very connecting thing between mm. a couple, mm. um, and it needs to be also in. A, it needs to bring everything needs to bring more connection, but just by 
like talking to someone doesn't mean you're connecting with that person yeah even talking about like very deep stuff mm. no if you yeah exactly mm. so but i think it is like letting the guards down and just being here this is me yeah. exactly as i yeah. am and mm. me accepting mm. you as you are mm. which i do mm. I really do, you know, mm. even though we, we get annoyed with each other, certain mm. things, but that's mostly, that's mostly our own issues if we get annoyed and, um, and we're trying to find, connect, like find a life, build a life together, mm. um, which yeah. is easier than I thought, to be honest, it's a lot more natural mm. than I thought. What were you going to say? Yeah, I like Joyce Mayer. Do you guys know Joyce Mayer? Do you have any Joyce Mayer fans here? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened that much to her, but a bit. And mostly to you. <laughs> yeah. I've heard some stuff, but. Yeah, you, yeah. it's been something. She was really uh, impactful. She's been really impactful for me because she's really a strong, strong female leader who kicks butts. <laughs> she's so good because she has a powerful story and um, she used to struggle with a lot of uh, anger and that kind of feelings. Yeah. In her family and with her husband. and she said something very impactful like she wanted to complain to her husband and um uh okay no, sir. yeah uh, something like that complain or be angry or i don't even remember and she was like really struggling about it and um god pointed out that you know the problem is not her husband she was like praying for her. her yeah she was praying for her husband god changed dave changed my husband and then God said that it was her who needed to change, and it, yeah, anyway. And then sometimes she, she, I remember this one time she ran the bathroom, and just like <sighs> there flashed, uh, what would uh, put water on her face, and just like n to not to get angry, like she really fought, and that that's really cool. Like instead of letting that crap. Just throw that on her husband. Yeah. It was back, like, that basically what would happen. She would just throw it. Up. Yeah. Like start to <clears throat> to oh. you or her to her husband. <clears throat> to actually, <laughs> actually like flee from the situation and escape in a prayer. Oh yeah. No matter if it's complaining or I don't know. Right. Like me complaining or 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 uh, being angry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and this goes back to the thing like it's not like trying to get the mm. other person to mm. fulfill my needs. If I try and get yeah. you to try and fulfill my needs and I want you to, then it's like you're gonna have two mm. very unfulfilled people. Mm. Nobody's, everybody's gonna feel empty all the time. Mm. But if we're both just wanting to uh, love each other, fulfill each other's needs, then we're gonna have two people who are always overflowing mm. if our focus is that. Mm. We can mosh if you're very angry. It's true. <laughs> if that moshing that, that head, head banging. Uh, yeah. You know, it'd be interesting. What is a mosh? Moshing is also kind of like a, like, I know, jumping around. I like, know what that is in Finnish. What is it? Mossos. Mossos. I would think if here is anybody else who knows Finnish, please correct me if I'm wrong. Mossos. Yeah, but it's what happens in a lot of metal gigs. It depends on kind of the metal genre. I think mm. it's more... Of a U.S. thing, mm -hmm. that's in Europe too, mm -hmm. I guess. But I think basically, people like jump around and it's kind of uh, looks crazy. Wow. But yeah, it's it's generally pretty friendly. I guess it can be unfriendly too. Never been a big monster myself. I just kind of want to enjoy the band. Is that the ring? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of different things. That sounds so scary. Mm, it can be. Oof. Basically, like it's just like this vacuum, and all of a sudden, you know, the band starts playing, and whoosh, there's like this ring. Everybody, <laughs> just like in no time. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I don't want to get in the mosh pit. That's not for me. Mm, sounds scary. But you can do it on your own. Get your just watch the furniture. Get your aggressions out. Yeah, sometimes you need to do that. Just yeah. go. Huh. Oh, the funniest thing happened today. Hey, Gunnar. Good to see you. Can I have some more water? Yeah, of course. So, what happened today? <sighs> so funny. I'm talking with this uh, person. It's not me. 
it's not new. About Disclaimer. The, <laughs> about um, 20 minutes. Huh? <laughs> that was just making you a joke. Ash. Just filling in oh, what you were saying. Yeah. I was talking to this person about 20 minutes. No, no, no. Uh, for an hour. And oh. uh, we talked, one th thing we talked about was uh, this uh, Chinese dish called century egg. Century egg. Have you Who guys knows had... what is a century egg? Do you egg? guys know what a century egg and have you had it? Like... By the way, this has everything to do with connection. But yeah, continue. Yes, and he asks if I know what is a century egg, and I Google a picture of century egg, and I'm like, Ooh. yeah. If you don't know what's a century egg, I really recommend to Google the picture of a century egg. It was the grossest thing ever, and uh, it's this smelly fermented egg they eat in China, which is like super old. It's not thousand years old. It's century is just a hundred years. <laughs> okay, that's interesting because in Finnish Wikipedia it was like thousand thousand year old egg. Oh, okay. That's why I thought century is thousand years. Oh, that, ma that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. It uh, should be a thousand because cent has to do with a thousand in Latin. I actually talked to someone else about that today. Side thing. Uh, I've never okay. heard about it, but he's never had it, and I don't know if I'll ever try don't, it. Don't, ew, why, that's why? the gross, most gross thing ever. What's wrong with it? Oof, old egg that smells like an old egg, and it's green, black, yellow. Anyway, we were just like talking about it, and I was so gross that after that uh, uh, conversation, I got to you, and I'm like, have you heard of century egg? It's the grossest thing ever. They eat that in China. He's like, yeah, I've had one. <laughs> I'm like, I still haven't got over that. Oh, wow. He has had a century egg. Yeah, so that was the point of connection, folks. Now oh. we're going to have to like build I that up again. I can get over. Uh, <laughs> oh, you guys are having Swedish fika. Uh, Ilmar and Sanya, amazing! Oh, Come on! I love Swedish fika. Man, can we have some too? What do you, What are you guys eating uh, for fika? Let Let me know so I can see how pure it is. If it is pure fika. <laughs> no, of course <laughs> it is fika. It's fika. It's uh, like... Yeah, exactly. See, Ilmar, he was there. We tried some balut in the Philippines. That is the century egg. He was there. Isn't that funny? So in this chat, there is actually two people who have tried century eggs. Yeah. Did you did you like it, Elmer? Okay, we got. Gunnar. This is a nightmare chat. This Gunnar is talking here. Oh. Also known century eggs. Um, also, what is that? Also known Bay, for Bay Dan. Egg. Yeah, that's how it's oh, pronounced. Sorry, sorry. Say that again. Bay Dan. Bay Dan. I, think, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, just from the Chinese characters. Also mm -hmm. known as preserved egg. 100 year old egg, 1000 year egg, 1000 year old egg, millennium egg, skin egg, black egg. Um, Chinese black preserved egg. food product and delicacy made by preserving duck, chicken, or quail eggs in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, quick lime, I don't even know what that is, and rice hulls for several weeks for, uh, to months, depending on the method of processing. Yeah. You know, in Finland, you throw all the eggs in the trash but this is preserved eggs you know i mean it's not it's not crazier than us eating preserved fish in sweden you've had that yeah ew <laughs> you did not think it was tasted bad okay 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 the smell of that it smell is like death yeah worse than death worse um like everything's thrown yeah, together yeah you have a friend who likes like the super odd foods yeah, so he wanted to try it. And uh, that friend, I believe, was involved with the Ilmar, with, you know, we were talking about it with Ilmar here, about balut. <laughs> what is it, what is, it, it's the same thing, right? Balut. That is the century egg. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ilmar. Dinosaur eggs. Well, yeah, I mean, preserved. What is balut? That is a century egg, I think. I think it was in the Philippines. I don't think I had it in China. But it, I mean, it's it's... I'm a bit confused because we went to Hong Kong and the Philippines on that same trip. It was a mission trip. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, man, everything is just tied together today. Like, Ooh, yeah, my you burning conversation. Talking to me, and Ooh. then, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, you're having apple cake with coffee. Man, that's fake. That is amazing. Mm. Wow. Apple cake. Wow. I'm jealous. I'm yeah. like food jealous. Food really jealous. Really bad. Yeah. Okay, see what he's saying here about Balut. Okay, okay. It was nice on taste. Really good, like chicken and chicken broth. It was hard to look at it though, I have to admit. I skipped the gray and brown part of the deck. <laughs> yeah, I think I had all of it. I can't remember. It's just an egg. Yeah. Preserved. No, rotten. It's not rotten. Did you? It's, yeah, see. It's green. No, that's not rotten. It's fermented. It, I'd rather eat Surströmming if I had the choice between that and Century Egg. Yeah, Surströmming, that's same, what I was same. talking about. Same, same, and I have tried Surströmming. It's <laughs> yeah, but that's just because you've tried Surströmming. <laughs> but it's way less gross. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Well, as long as you don't open Surströmming inside, then your apartment <laughs> will never recover. Tip. If, if you want to try your strumming, you you can't open that like box inside of the house. No. You have to open it outside underwater. Uh, otherwise, your house is like doomed. It's, you're dead. Yeah. The smell, the rotten fish smell, will never leave. But it's very good for your preservatives. It has a lot of probiotics, which we need. I'll take. Anybody got any probiotics in a here? Capsule. You can do that too, but you can also get it through <laughs> these strange eggs or sort of soup strumming. <laughs> well, you can get kimchi as uh, well. Yeah, kimchi. A lot of things. Does somebody like kimchi for real or is it just healthy? It's, it's, in Korea, everybody eats it. Super. It's like, a, yeah, I like kimchi. Mm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like everything. There's That's nothing true. I don't like food wise. That's why it's not. That's weird. why you like that weird egg. I don't yeah, I mean, I don't remember much, but um, Ilmar, he loved it. Yeah. So he, he's got good taste. <laughs> I mean, he's eating apple cake and coffee. He likes that. He's, he likes balut. Mm. Yeah. So, so there we go. So yeah, so we're having a bit of a disconnection here, as you guys can see. Yeah, live I feel lonely. On the air, she feels lonely. <laughs> what do I feel? I feel misunderstood, not heard. Yeah. Uh, like I tried to describe how good and delicious this can be, but she's not listening because I don't feel no. heard. I don't feel like I can be myself. Yes. That you'll like me for just for like I am. Century egg? You no. only like me if I don't yes. like if I'm not. You don't like the century egg eating Christian. You like the non-eating century egg eating Christian. That's who you like. But you cannot make me that. Uh, uh, balut angle. What's that? I don't know. Angel, angel is uh, angel. Angel in German. Oh. Yeah. Angel is angel in Finnish. Mm -hmm. Angel. Yeah. See, you've learned mosh pit and angel here. <laughs> are there two very important words in Finnish? Probably, it's almost the same, different cuisine though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming you mean like the, I'm assuming you mean the Philippine version and the hmm. Chinese version. Blood Angel, Balut Angel. I, I haven't even heard of that. It's bad Blood, Blood Angel, <laughs> Balut Angel. That's, That's a good, good. It's a good bad name. Balut Angel. Uh, okay, in Iceland we eat sheep head, eyeballs and all, sheep testicles, and raw fermented shark. I have had that raw fermented shark. You were in Iceland. With yes. the friend. With the same friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a minister. He travels around the world and uh, preaches about Jesus. And Somebody tries... stop my husband for eating all the weirdest things on the earth, please. Okay, yeah, okay, we won't check that band out. No, no worries. Okay, thanks, okay. thanks for yeah. the warning. <laughs> yeah, so this minister, a friend of ours, he. Uh, <clears throat> likes traveling around the world, preaching about Jesus and eating the weirdest foods. And I believe he has tried all the things you listed there, Gilmar. So Iceland, yes, I had fermented shark. I did not like it. We just bought it at a grocery store, so I don't know. Do you like it, Gilmar? Do you like fermented shark? 
I'd really does, like to know. Does people actually like it or is it like a... <laughs> Maybe it just wasn't well cooked when I ate it. I did have puffin at a very good restaurant though. That was delicious. Puffin. Puffin. Yeah, but they have lots of them there. It's not like... And I had whale. That's gonna offend so many people. <laughs> whale. This is all on YouTube, by the way. There is somewhere you can find it. Some kind of Iceland. You will see me there. Anyway. Oh, Kyle knows also somebody who... Pufferfish. Yeah, I, that same guy I talked about tried pufferfish. Isn't that the, the fish when you, if you cook it the wrong way, yeah. you die when you eat it. Why would anybody eat that? That's a delicious in Japan. It's pretty common. Whoosh. It's called, it's like a pufferfish, it's like a blowfish. Yeah. Hotin in Cantonese. Oh, look at that. in Cantonese. There you go. Learn a new word, hotin. It's like goldfish, right like... Palo Kala. Yo. Palo Kala. <laughs> Puffin is awesome. Whale is the best meat ever. I'm telling you, dude. Really? Yes. But I don't eat the other stuff. <laughs> oh, I get the it. The other stuff, you mean the <clears throat> fermented shark. Do anybody... Sheep, sheep eyes. Oh, sheep eyes. Okay. But the, I wanted to know about the fermented shark. Does anybody like that? Does anyone in Iceland like that? Yes. We want to know that, please. Yep, yep. yep. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait here. I'm gonna get my answer. I'm gonna sit here quietly. <laughs> that felt nice. <laughs> See, this this is the small things like, um, and you know, one thing I've thought about. You go back to connection there after all this, but we'll go back to the crazy food. I'm just stalling before I get an answer from Gunna here about <laughs> the shark. If anybody eats it, and I want to know if anybody else has tried fermented shark. A lot of Icelanders do. I mean, obviously, yeah. Now that I think of it, because otherwise you wouldn't have it. But you just don't like it. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so going back to connection. Um, it's the little things. <laughs> like, no, I think it's really good to give each other feedback. Um, okay, pause on that. I'm going to... Because we have something interesting going on here. Okay, okay, okay. Elmar said, did you ever try horse meat? That's the best meat. We eat it in oh, Kazakhstan. Yeah, Kazakhstan. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have tried a little bit. That same restaurant where we went to have whale and puffin. One of my friends did not want to eat whale. Because he wasn't feeling, I don't know, I guess he had a feeling a bit conflicted, maybe. So he had horses then. And... Hmm. It was really good, especially since it was a really, really nice restaurant. It was a really nice restaurant. And <laughs> yeah, so but I should try that again. It was, um, and by the way, we, in Sweden, we eat like, a, uh, it's called hamburger shit. It's not hamburger meat, but it's horse meat that you put like on sandwiches. It's basically just like ham, but it looks, it's like dark horse meat. And it's, um, it's. It's okay, I think. It's not. I think it's much better if you eat it like a steak, like that. Mm. At least the one in Iceland. It was such a good restaurant. Gunnar says horse meat is very good. Yeah. 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 Well, this really backfired on you. You were gonna like get some support here about <laughs> me liking <laughs> weird stuff. See. Um, yeah, I have tried horse meat only in a like a salami type of sausage. Okay, was it good? Um, well, it's so hard to say because there was other meat too, like pig and beef. And so, oh, like I don't a mixture. know. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. We would never know. Mm. But it's like, we, we, when we think about, oh, it's so weird to eat that mm. animal. It's just because we're used to it. Like in, in India, they would never dream about eating a cow. True. We eat it all the time. Unless mm. you're a vegan, of course. Yeah. Um, then you're never going to be weird. And then you can think everybody else is weird. But if you're not. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I was thinking about when we were talking about connection. It's good to give each other feedback. Um, I feel like that's been very helpful. We've been mm -hmm. doing that more. It was something like I said to you. Mm. Um, I was just saying during dinner, like, man, this salad is so great. Like, mm. and um, I really no. like. What? You said. Yeah, you tell me. You said. Mmm, this salad is so good. I could never make this good myself. Yeah. I had made it. 
Yeah. And then you said. Oh, that was so loving. Yeah. And you, you actually said that felt very good. Yeah. So, mm. and that's good. That tells me, okay, she likes that. That makes I sense. I also gave you, I didn't think about it, but now that I'm analyzing it, I gave you feedback that, oh, I like that comment. Like, yeah. Mm. You like that comment. So, you, you know, you can do that. Mm. Right. That, that, that tells you, like, oh, that feels really good. Or, mm. Um, if she comes and put her hand here, like, and I said, oh man, that feels really good. That, that's mm. like, or you see, no one's still on my back. What? You put your hand here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah what, I mean, it was just like, <laughs> it was just an example. I'm goofing, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was just an example, but, uh, mm. or certain things, like if you've done something, you say, oh man, thank you still, so, like, thank you for mm. doing that. That felt so nice. So you constantly give each other positive feedback because it can be so easy to get into mm. the things that oh I would you know can you even if you say it nicely you say mm. well like hey man, I would really appreciate if you could um, like wipe the countertop of the kitchen after you're done using it something like that like mm. a practical thing like maybe one is more particular about it <laughs> mm. and, uh, and the other one uh, well you're particular I about don't other see things. bread crumples on the table I just don't yeah. pay attention she to doesn't them. see them and for me, it's like, it's all I see. <laughs> so well, it's fine to give each other, key, like say things like that. Um, even if we do it like, well, if we do it too much and we, it doesn't become a good thing. So um, I would say like doing, I don't know. I think they've done a ratio, but like you should do like 15. I think it's something like that. I can't remember from the top of my head. If someone, correct me if I'm wrong, like you should give like 15 good, positive uh, reinforcement, like comments for every negative. Or like, even not negative, but like criticism or constru constructive. So, uh, but isn't it better to know what to do instead of like, don't do that, don't do that. But like, oh, they feel so good when this happens. Like the, the result you like, you focus on that instead. Hmm. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it's just stroking my own hand. Yeah, sure. Hmm. No, my nose is dripping because you touched it. Did I touch it or did you, did your nose touch my hand? Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Man, we so need to. Connect. Connect. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Yeah. I think uh, the comment section here about all meats kind of uh, it's on hold here a little bit. I was hoping it could keep going. <laughs> uh. hmm. But yeah. What, um, if you guys are married here, if you guys are married watching, what does you, ma what makes you feel connected to the other person? Um, what, what does it make you? I would actually, yeah. you've been interviewing me and my, I don't know, um, goofy answers, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're great. but, 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 but yeah. You, you could answer that question because you are really like observative of your feelings. What does make you, you feel connected? What makes me feel give, connected? Give a guy um, perspective. A guy perspective. Mm. This is every guy on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what makes me feel connected? Most or some or one. I don't, know. I don't know. Um, I really like when you're like sweet, like you are now. Like, oh, I thought I was sassy. No, <laughs> no, because there's like a hard attitude about it. So, so like if you would be like, mm, you want to distance yourself, that's not very fun. Yeah. Um, but... Unfortunately, I've never done that. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, like um, when you compliment me, mm. if like. Um, Something you did that today is something mm -hmm. I, I said. Oh, you did such a good job, man! You do, you're, like you're amazing at that. Like I, I'm a words person, so that's huge for me. But I realized I'm actually. I thought I wasn't acts of service. If you know the love languages, we got like words is one of them. We got acts, 
gifts, um, time and physical touch. Quality time. Quality time, yeah. And I've always known I like I'm definitely words and I'm very high on physical touch as well. Mm. Uh, but I think I realized I really appreciate like even acts more. Mm. Like um, if you have done like laundry, my favorite PJ, or just like clean the kitchen, like just simple stuff like that, or prepared like a nice. I don't know, maybe a cup of coffee, like mm. anything like that. It's just, uh, this is really simple stuff. I don't really um, need anything crazy. I think you could you could say if you disagree, if you feel like I'm high maintenance. What's yeah, well, up, I, Phil? We got Phil Osborne in the house. Uh, yeah, I think because you are acts of service, that's your love language, you feel, and your words. So if I criticize you, I'm um, not very building, that hurts. Yeah. more than it would maybe hurt me and um yeah. because you're acts yeah. of service you also am i am i acts of service now i guess also I feel uh, um at least not very loved if i promise to do something and i don't do that yeah it's more than that yeah, yeah. That i'll drives take me care nuts. of it i'll take the trash down i'll empty the laundry machine and then you come home nothing is done because i forgot that was a lot you just, i just forgot that you, you didn't mean bad mm. but I did something else. You did something by else. By an accident. Yeah. Like your, your art is so good, but it's mm. you, you you forget yeah. <laughs> certain things. And, mm. and it's like also I need to maybe chill out sometimes. And I need to learn to put reminders on my phone. Yeah. Which I have maybe too much. Oh, mm. oh we got some interesting comments yeah. here. Elmar is saying, mm. um, it's actually from Sonia. She's saying, um, which is Elmar's wife. Yeah. That's true. We do it also giving feedback to each other. It's important. Uh, but sometimes feelings doesn't say the truth. So I think I don't want to be completely dependent on, like, I don't want to be dependent mm. on feelings completely, mm. which, yeah, because sometimes you can just feel something that's not really true, but the truth is always the same. Exactly. That's mm. a very, mm. very important truth. Yeah. We can feel all sorts of things. I mm. feel like you're not listening to me or that you don't uh, love yeah, me. Yeah, but... I think you've heard that <laughs> one. Yeah, I feel like you know, yeah. It's actually, um, I feel you are not doing something or you are not, I don't know, listening to me. Mm. But it's a wound in me that is just being super triggered. For That's one example. Yeah. Because feelings, <laughs> they don't just come from just anywhere. It's not just mm. like random. Oh, I had a feeling random mm. and... Uh, now I need to mm. like act yeah. on it. No, feelings no, come. Don't. Feelings come from. I would say feelings come from thoughts. Oh, thoughts. Yeah, very well said. Very well said. What we think about and what we think about mm. is very influenced about what we believe. Is it mm. influenced by what we believe? And what we believe comes mm. f about from, like, our experiences. Mm. Uh, there, there's a choice involved too. Like we, we. Um, choose if we believe in jesus or mm. not you know but the truth is the same he's still going to be god the jesus is not going to change just because i don't believe in it it's not going to change um the reality of that mm. so just like sonia was saying here it's uh it's really important to not follow those feelings because mm. they're important to listen to they can like sh they show us something but and they can show that there's a particular need that's not being met but they can also show that there's something very off about what I believe, uh, about myself, or what mm. you believe, mm. in our so we have like these certain glasses, which from our experiences or our belief system that influence how mm. we feel. One one very good example. Yeah. Because I'm such a big feeler. Yeah. Mm, yeah. More than anyone I know, I think. Oh wow! Thanks. Yeah. I guess. No, it's mm. they're definitely a gift, but I'm sure I know for you. It, it's, it's a mm. huge gift, but it can be challenging. It can be very challenging. Like you're happier I, than anyone else, but you also get more depressed than anyone else. Um, <laughs> or at least you show it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, but it's yeah. a blessing. Yeah. Uh, and I can, can sometimes feel and see very sensitive, like I'm very sensitive for what other people feel. And yes. I easily tend to feel what others are feeling. And Good then, or bad. then that's definitely not the truth of how I'm doing because I right. feel that other people are nervous. So suddenly I'm feeling very nervous too, without a reason. When I entered the room, I was doing fine, and suddenly I'm starting to catch up weird feelings. 
Right. There is actually a tool for feelers. Yeah, what do you do? Because I'm sure there are people out there who've experienced the same thing, mm. like you pick up on something when mm. you enter a room. Mm. Yeah, it's good to check up yourself before you go certain uh, places where will be a lot of people. How am I feeling? Or if you are suddenly feeling something like, how was I feeling before this? Yeah. Because the feelings that come, anxiousness, fear, anger, it's very often anxiousness and that kind of feelings, mm. at least for me. Yeah. That mm -hmm. It's good to check like, wait a moment, like, because they feel so real yeah. and they feel so heavy. It's like, is this whole, what I was feeling? Right. This kind of a checkup. And if you realize like, no, I came here happy. This, this feeling comes out of nowhere in a way. Mm. For example, yeah. I'm outgoing a person, but suddenly I feel anxious and I don't feel like I don't want to talk to people. I might right. be possibly feeling someone else's feelings. Yeah. So it's a good good to pray with, with uh, pray to the lord and like like uh, release that feeling to him and pray like uh, that you get like swift at your own atmosphere we don't need to like be the slaves of the atmospheres right and some some places have pretty blah atmospheres but yeah. still we feelers and no one uh, doesn't need to suffer because of that what kind of thoughts do you have yeah, I was actually going to ask you, and it's funny because I just saw the comment here from oh. Gunnar, could this be a part of a prophetic ministry? Because I was just going to ask you, mm. why do you think the Lord has, he's always made you this way. Mm. We all have different personalities, mm. how we operate, how we mm. are, just to, just for his purposes on the earth. Um, and well, I, I think for many reasons, but part of it is because everybody has a certain mm. uh, purpose specific calling in life you know uh, whatever it is like you have dream mm. you dream about or you're passionate about and how you're wired as a person mm. uh, you can reach certain people mm. um, like better than mm. other people can so what is yeah what do you think why mm. do you think God created you this way well I think that's a huge gift I'm having and people who have similar like gifting, it's a really great thing. But um, there is the, uh, well, why? Okay, okay, first answer is that. Why? Well, when we're, when feelers are with people, they are really like, like observative and they know what's going on and they maybe get the idea what are the problems, what to pray into. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also how to how to talk to certain people, how to love them very yeah. well. But there is that uh, also the risk when the gift is very undevelopment that we instead of like fight like swifting it, we don't realize it's not ours, and then the gift kind of I don't say turns against us, but it's like. Uh, like any kind of gift, if we don't like find like God does, and we don't find training with it, and God yeah. God uh, we don't give it for God's use, it's not so very serving. Right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe spiritual discernment. He said. Mm, um, that's interesting. Yeah. So what? What, what do you think of what I just said? Yeah. Because I, you have so good thoughts. I would love to hear more. No, but you have amazing thoughts too. I know, but I just talked. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, I was saying, like, what do you think would be the purpose? Like, when you're feeling something, you're entering a room, what do you think is the reason why you feel that? I guess I was talking long because I tried to figure out and I That's still fine. couldn't. We're here we're <laughs> processing <laughs> out loud I with you trying. guys. I don't know. What do you think? Um, does that mean you, you don't know? Or do you want to hear my answer first? I'm, I don't have a short answer, to be honest. I'm like... Oh, we got nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How can I hint any more, like, sneaker? Please talk oh, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, you know, guys and hints. Yeah. Even though I kind of hint more than you do. Yeah, and, and I don't funny. see that. Yeah, which is good because sometimes it's like this bad communication. Um, oh, I just want to read this yeah. 
from him. Yeah, we, that's why we base our feelings on reality, which is God's perfect love for us. Yes, it's more powerful than our feelings, exactly. Otherwise, we can be tricked. When our feelings betray us, what we do, we try to address those things when we have mm. an identity crisis. Like, even though you know who you are in Christ, there are days where feelings or body mm. and or uh, the devil trick you. Exactly, and that's, I think that's key, like he just tricks you. Mm. We just remind each other of the truth of who we are in Christ, even if we don't manifest it. Mm. And we speak truth over and uh, over, and then feelings align with the truth, and we feel ourselves as um, true us, tuned mm. in, plugged in, connected to God and each other as a family. Yeah, exactly, because mm. it, it never changes the reality. Like we, we are in Jesus. We are plugged in with him. Even if I feel disconnected, oh, God is so far. He is not far. It's not the truth. I may feel that way, <laughs> but it's, it doesn't mean. And just as I can sit next to Heta, I was like, she feels. I feel so lonely. But you're not. Your wife is right there. <laughs> you know. Even though I, I wouldn't say that's. I think that's one of the good things about marriage. I don't really feel lonely anymore. Mm. Like it can, we can feel disconnected, but it's really we just connect again, mm. and then that's taken care of. Mm. But um that's so good what you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, come on, like, that's a good word. And I think there's a really good point that uh blocked in con um connected to God and each other and God comes first. Like if we're not really connected with God, it's a bit it's like a totally different thing to try to connect. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like building house on the wrong foundation no 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 no. i mean even like if it's oh, okay yes 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 sorry good no good stuff and i had a uh, also another okay oh, that's me i want to hear so sorry no no anyway uh like what was i even thinking da, 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 da. building on house on a rock yeah 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 if it's like a I don't spend a lot of time with the Lord, feeling disconnect, starting to believe lives of lies of Him. Mm -hmm. It's like a totally different thing to <clears throat> try to connect with you. That was yeah. yeah. I if I am like I love what Ilma was saying because it's like mm -hmm. talking about the awareness of our connection because yeah. that, that's all Beautiful. it is. Like just that we know that we're connected mm. um, and we're we aware are connected. Of no matter are we aware of it. Yeah, and that's... So well said. When we're aware of it, that manifests. Ooh. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, exactly. And if I am aware of my connection and I'm feeling connected, everything is then with with Jesus, then it's impossible that I'm going to like struggle in my connection with you. Like it goes hand in hand. Hmm. Like I, I love what this, someone said... Uh, because he, he said he used to believe it was God first, then family, and then ministry. So it's like one, two, three. But he was like, when God is number one, there is no two or three. Mm. Everything is just in balance and mm. in perfect alignment. Um, I think you get to realize the feelings or others as a way for you to of bring... Of others. Of others as a way, yeah, yeah, for you to bring the word of God and or his love towards those mm. people that are in these circumstances. God might be opening doors for you to minister to others via this channel. Boom! Mm. Exactly. You're spot on, Gunnar. Yeah. I really believe you are feeling things so that you're aware of what goes going on in that person. Just as he's saying here, mm. like so you can minister his love towards them. Like you know exactly what's going on. Mm. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna like say that to that person, but you know, like if you know what someone is struggling with something that you can speak like the opposite they can speak the truth of them you so it's only for you to know and not also to partner with so it starts weighing you down mm, it, yeah which is challenging isn't it yeah or I mean, it gets easier and easier yeah i'm still on a journey though to learn to swift the atmosphere yeah yeah um and like because i i know there is there is people who master at shifting atmospheres and they remain in their own atmosphere then when they mm. leave their home happy full of love and god's goodness mm. they come back home the same day feeling the same no matter what they face mm. on their day mm. no matter who they face mm. their day doesn't get ruined because of they saw a jerk who was awful everything went wrong they 
yeah. things were just like <laughs> they're still happy and they um yeah who is they some super strong like <laughs> christian <laughs> leaders yeah. i find it yeah, inspiring yeah. no 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 and i actually i was just joking with a bit i yeah i definitely know people who have who just learned how to do that and it's like not taking things onto ourselves mm. uh, like that. And we, yeah, definitely yeah. want to just get better and better at that. So that yeah. I'm not weighed down by other people's yeah. problems, but I actually have, I'm always overflowing with love to be able to mm. help them mm. uh, no matter what. Mm. And I, I think, I, yeah. And I have found, were you saying something? Mm, no, it's okay. I found such like big breakthroughs where like, at workplaces or wherever I've been to like pray into the situation sometimes even prepare the situations and prepare my day in a prayer before I leave yeah, yeah, yeah. and in the situation like it's a difficult situation go to the bathroom throw, throw prayers walk around pray in my head for the people and suddenly everything goes better than I even dare to dream or mm. I have the strength I need to face the difficult situation Right, good stuff will happen, mm. you know. Yeah, it does. It just you know, life happens, so mm. we want to be prepared mm. um, before the battle happens already. And, like, mm. and of course, we can't prepare for everything, but no, um, no, but it's easier if we are like well armed and our sword is shining, spiritual. We are, we didn't leave the helmet uh, open, but it yeah. was cl everything was prepared. Yeah, it was closed. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So good, you guys. And I love these uh, these comments. Yeah. And I I really think like with Gunnar, Gunnar was talking about like this. It is a discernment thing. Mm. That's that's really it. Like, mm. so if you are that type of person that are really sensitive. Just know that it's, it is for a reason. You know, God created you that way, not to torture you, but mm. um, he wants you to be anchored in him, anchored with other people in community. Mm. And uh, it's actually, you you will be a blessing. You are a blessing to so mm. many people. Whether you know it or not, the truth remains the same. Mm. Uh, Gilna writes here, as Christians, our ministry and our marriages are never going to be stronger than our relationship with Jesus, in my opinion. Or at least it will grow stronger when we submerge into his presence. Yes. Hmm. 100%. Well said. <laughs> wow, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feeling that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good, you guys. Well, we've um, had a blast. It was so fun to hang out with you guys as usual. I don't know how many Sundays. No, Thursday Sundays. How many Thursdays have <laughs> we been doing this? I, it's always church Sunday. Uh, hmm. It's been a, like a few weeks few months we've been doing it every week few weeks several weeks a few months i stand corrected and uh, next week we will not be here actually we'll mm -hmm. be here the week after because next week is heta's birthday <laughs> and uh we're gonna we're gonna take some time off like for a few days and uh Yay. hang out together we're gonna celebrate you yeah so um it's so good to see you guys here as usual and we love you guys and we'll see you two weeks from now so <laughs> stay healthy and uh oh your ch uh, your chats feel like sundays for us as well bless you guys thank you so Thanks. much Kimber. that means a lot so appreciate that and um okay i want to read this last thing from elmer before we go in estonian army they used to say if your things like helmet are in order the enemy might think 10 times uh, and might change the mind when no noticing you in the distance mm. before they decide to shoot you. So being prepared is always better. Mm. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>